Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsusti. Welcome back to an episode of another day in Minecraft. The other day I was exploring the mine shafts next to the stronghold here as I needed some cobweb for this project and I stumbled upon this. A zombie spawner, which is the other thing I need. And as luck will have it, through this wall is our sorting slash storage cavern. While digging through here, you might be wondering how to get from rotten flesh to the copper promised in the title. We don't. The zombies are drowned and when those are killed with a floating 3 sword, there is a 17% chance of them dropping a copper ingot. This farm follows the concept of Nembon and Drema Smith's Dreams tutorial. As with underground builds, time lapse are impractical. Uh, therefore, we will be having several report updates. A zombie spawner does not spawn too many. So we utilize reinforcement spawning that happen along the north-south axis if the zombies are attacked and if playing on hard mode. It's time for the first progress update here above the spawner where we have a glass floor. I dug out the area quite a bit and then here on top we have this slanting uh, roof and here towards the south side that's where the ground will fall down uh, and then we will probably have more digging to do in the north and south direction the other two walls, they should be uh, uh, pretty final. So I went ahead, decorated everything with uh, stone bricks, even so we might dig out uh, some of them uh, again as I follow along with Dream of Smith's Dreams tutorial, which by the way is great. So see you soon with the next update. And more digging has been done, this time downwards, where we have added a glass floor that's a bit staggered, uh, because here in the corners there will be water sources and this way everything will be flushed here towards the middle where we have the gap. The magma blocks are there to prevent zombies to uh, linger in these locations and uh, move forward instead. Then down here we will have a row of snow golems on this side shooting the zombies and thereby calling in reinforcements on the north and south sides. Um, and I think putting in the snow golems, that's probably the uh, hardest part of this build. So uh, we will see how that goes. Putting in the snow golem in place was not that hard after all, especially if you follow the instruction Drema Smith uh, tells you in her tutorial, uh, it's quite easy. Down here we also improved the area with a bit of uh, fences that guide everything along the way. Here on the small side and also the opposite side we have a tunnel that goes quite a while back and these are the reinforcement tunnels where the reinforcement zombies will spawn. We have one on this level and then one level above. And on this side we have a soul sand elevator so all the zombies that uh, track uh, towards this side will be pushed up 
then all the way at the top they will go over uh, and fall down here uh, down to uh, this level and the ones uh, spawning on this side will only be lifted up one level the ones on the correct level will move forward and then they will walk over these walls uh, which have cobwebs on top so they will be really slow and on top of that there is water so their head is actually in the water and they will drown and then on this side you cannot see it uh, but there are the uh, snow golems uh, shooting at them. So it's time for putting the final touches in here at the bottom. And hopefully we can the farm then see working. Let's see if this farm actually works as advertised. At least here on top the spawning that works nicely uh, as expected the zombies get funneled down and down there we can see that they are actually uh, converted uh, on the cobwebs and that they are shot by the snow golems Big question is, do they spawn in reinforcements so we get even more zombies that can be converted and we can slash them up for the copper. So I've been spending two hours now uh, working at this round and we got almost five stacks in here almost two stacks in here it's not much but uh, it beats uh, looking and mine for copper especially as uh, I can just stand here and let the script do the same and on top of that it's always nice if you build a farm and it works on the first try uh, Maybe it helps if it is, has no redstone involved, uh, but yep, that's it for today, I hope you tune in next time, until then, goodbye.